now. <laughs> I was on mute. <laughs> okay, hello. I've not heard anything, TJ. Okay, Kim Nang, thank you for telling me. Maybe now it's better. Turn on the mic. It's turned on. Can you hear me? I hope so. So guys, my name is Saul Tyler. I am an English teacher from the UK. And this is my second live stream. So I'm going to be your teacher today. So we're going to start off with a quick Q&A. So if you have any questions for me, guys. Hello, Nguyen. How are you today? Okay, clear. Awesome. All right, Nguyen. Huang. So, guys, how are you today? Let me know in the comments box. This works best, guys, when uh, we're speaking to each other. There's lots of comments in the box, and we can have a nice conversation. Hello. Hello, Twee. How are you guys today? Happy Sunday. How am I, teacher? I'm great, thank you. I'm, I'm doing well. I had a nice relaxing day today. Did some reading. Did some work in the morning. Hello. You're handsome. Oh, thank you, Kang Lee. Thanks. So, you guys are all from Vietnam, right? How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. I'm doing fine. How about you guys? How are you? So today's lesson is on nocturnal animals, guys. And nocturnal animals are animals that come to life at night. Hi, guys. Hello. So if, if there are any questions that you have, guys, please put them in the comments box, and I will do my best to answer them. OK. So hello. Hello, Twee. Twee is a top fan. OK, so let's get started then, guys. So, animals at night. So, what are animals at night? Vicky Fam. Hello, Vicky Fam. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Today we're learning about animals at night. Now, do you know about any animals that do all of their work at night? Let's see. So look, as you can see, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five different animals on the screen. Hi. Hi, Ian. Ian. I think that's Ian. How are you today? So guys, we have five animals on the screen. Uh, if you do know any of these animals, please write them in the comments box. And if you think any of these animals come out at night, uh, tell me which of the animals you think do that. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Tigers, yep. Yeah. I think you might be right there. Tigers do come out at night. What other animals do we have? We have a tiger. That one's easy, right? How about this one? Okay, I'm back. I'm back. We're having some technical difficulties here, but I'm back. So welcome once again. Foxes. Yes, we have a fox here. We do. That's right. What else do we have here, guys? We've got a fox. We've got... Who knows what this animal is here? Anybody know? Panda. It's not a panda, Tweebui. I hope I said that right. Owl. Yeah, that's right. We have an owl down here. Do you know what kind of owl? I love owls. How about you guys? Beautiful animals, right? So yeah, guys, um, we've got lots of different animals on here, and some of them come out at night, and maybe all of them come out at night. Let's see. So, what's going on today? What's going on in today's lesson? I will tell you, today we are learning about life at night. Uh -huh. Having some more technical difficulties here. Okay, perfect. We're back. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what's got, what's on the menu today? We're talking about life at night, guys. Um, so which animals come alive in the even in the at the night? Uh, number two, we're talking about special sensors. So the sensors that animals use so that they can navigate their way uh, through the darkness. Number three, we're going to be talking about flying at night. So which animals can fly? Hello, pro. I just got in. Hello, fam Angdup. 
Welcome, white bird. It's not a white bird, Kim Yang. <laughs> and it's not a panda. Uh, number four, we're going to be talking about desert animals. So, animals that live in the desert that come out at night. And number five, we're going to be talking about animals asleep. So, uh, which animals sleep for the longest? When do they sleep? If they hunt in the day, if they hunt at night, we're going to find out all about animals and and what they do at night. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mint Mint. Great name. Is that the Vietnamese name? Camel. <laughs> no camels here. And camels, camels. I don't think come out at night. Hi, Mr. Soul. Hello, my, my chi ha. Welcome. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's continue. So, guys, number one, life at night. Let's find out about some life at night. So, uh, what I would like you to do, guys, is get on your keyboards or on your phones, and I want you to t write the name of the animals you can see on the right. So look, we've got one, two, three animals here. So if you know the animals, write them in the comments box. And even better, if you know what they have in common, that means um, what they have that is the same, then also I would like you to write that in the comment box. Good evening, good evening to two. Good evening to, hello, welcome everybody, welcome to the stream. Bats, owls, mice, we've got, this isn't a mouse, uh, but you're right, we have a bat here and we have an owl here. Anybody know what this animal is? Good English though, Angduk. Yeah, bats, owls and mice. Yeah, this is a, this is a bit of a strange animal, I wonder if any of you know what it is. So what do they have in common, guys? What do these animals have in common? Apart from they're all a little bit scary looking. Let's find out. So guys, these animals are nocturnal animals. They're nocturnal. That's nocturnal. And nocturnal animals are animals that are active after dark. So when the sun goes down, all of these animals, they, they come out from their homes and they do all of their work at night. So that's nocturnal, guys. That's nocturnal. I'll say that again. That's nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animals. So here are the animals, guys. We have, you were right. You guys were right. We have a bat here. This is a, a bat. Bats come out at night because they do all of their their eating and their hunting during the evening. But we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. Uh, we have an owl here. This is an owl. An owl are, is also a nocturnal animal. Has these big eyes so that it can see really well in the dark. And this animal here, guys, isn't a rat. It's actually an opossum. That's opossum. Opossum. The O at the beginning of opossum is like a very small O. Oh, it's like opossum. Huang, hello teacher, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Huang Le. How are you? I hope you're well. Welcome to the stream if you are new. If you're coming in, if you're arriving late, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are learning about nocturnal animals today. And nocturnal animals are, as you know, I'm sure, animals that are active after dark. So let's find out a little bit more about these animals. So we have, first of all, a possum. We have an opossum here. Now, we don't have a video about the opossums, so we're going to talk about them a little bit instead, okay? So opossums and, this is an opossum, and this is an animal called an armadillo. That's armadillo. What's your name? My name is Saul. Saul. Yeah, I'm Teacher Saul. Nguoc Lang. My name is Saul, yeah. How are you guys today? Come on. There's not as many comments as there was last week. 
Let's chat. I am not known. You don't know? What animal don't you know? This one. This is an opossum. And here we have another nocturnal animal, guys, and that's called an armadillo. An armadillo. They look kind of similar, don't they? But this one has like a very hard shell. Can you see this? This is a hard shell. So armadillos, guys, here's a fact about armadillos. They can sleep for more than 17 hours a day. Wow, 17 hours. Pangolin. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is a pangolin. There's two different words for it. Pangolin and armadillo. That's right. Well done, Angduk. Awesome job. Um, so, guys, both of these animals, the opossum and the armadillo, they are both nocturnal animals. I'm very happy when I meet you again. Oh, thank you. Kian Hang. I hope I said that right. Welcome to the stream. I hope you can be here every week. Uh, okay, so, yeah, guys, these are nocturnal animals. That means they come out during the night. So, I wonder why they come out. Who knows why they might do all of their work at night? If you know, remember, guys, write your comments in the comments box. Let's move on. So, life at night. The opossum is a nocturnal animal. At night, it looks for plants and small animals to eat. In the day, it hides and goes to sleep. Okay, so here's the name of the animal one more time, the noun. It's called an opossum. An opossum. What's your name? My name is Saul. Saul. And I am 24 years old. 24. I'm 24 years old. How about you guys? How old are you? Where are you from? I'm from England. I'm from Eng I'm from a, a city called Sheffield, which is in the north of England. It's near Manchester. Maybe you know Manchester. Where are you guys from? You're all from Vietnam, right? Are you all from Hanoi, or are some of you living in a different city? Let me know. So I'll read that one more time for you guys. The opossum is a nocturnal. That's nocturnal. Nocturnal. The opossum is a nocturnal animal. At night, it looks for plants and small animals to eat. In the day, it hides and goes to sleep. So, it looks... The reason that it's a nocturnal animal... I live in England. Really, Mary? That's awesome. Whereabouts in England? Where do you live? Where in England? Uh, so, guys, the opossums, they look for small plants and small animals to eat. So, maybe these small animals, they cannot find them during the day. So, they have to come out at night, and that's when they hunt. They hunt for the small animals and, and small plants. They probably eat small things like worms and other small insects. I'm from Hanoi. Awesome. Whereabouts in Hanoi? I live in Mars. I live on Mars, Baoming. Wow, you're pretty far away then, right? Can you tell me, how is the water on Mars? Do you like Manchester City Football Club? Um, they're a great team. They are a great team. But did you watch the football game last night? It was pretty boring, I think. I'm more of a Tottenham Hotspur kind of guy. I'm from Hanoi. Awesome. Whereabouts in Hanoi? I live in Teho, along with all of the rest of the foreigners. I'm sure you already know that, though. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's talk about the armadillo, guys, because, uh, to be honest, I don't know much about the armadillo, and I wonder if you guys do. Let's see. The armadillo is a nocturnal animal. It sleeps for more than 17 hours a day. Wow, that's a great big sleep, isn't it? That's a... Uh, that's a long sleep. That's a, that is a long sleep. So that's armadillo, guys. So armadillos also, they do all their hunting like the opossum during the night. So that's why they sleep during the day. I'm 24 years old, the same as me. Awesome. And we're here learning English together. That's great. Hello, teacher. Hello, Twi. Is it Twi or Tu? I think it's Tu, right? Tu. Um, okay, let's move on. That's the armadillo. 
Okay, so, however... However, nocturnal animals aren't the only animals that come out at night. For example, tigers come out in the day and at night. Rabbits only come out in the morning when it's getting light and in the evening when it's getting dark. So, guys, tigers and rabbits, they are not nocturnal animals. They do come out at night. But a nocturnal animal is an animal that only comes out at night. Okay, so a nocturnal animal does not come out during the daytime. We have a tiger. Yeah, that is, that's right. It's a tiger. What else do we have? Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to read that one more time for you guys. Um, however... Nocturnal animals aren't the only animals that come out at night. For example, tigers come out in the day and at night. Rabbits only come out in the morning when it's getting light and in the evening when it's getting dark. So, like I said guys, just because these animals sometimes come out at night, that does not make them a nocturnal animal, okay? Nocturnal animals are animals that only come out at night. Okay, so... Do you know some reasons why animals come out at night? So, guys, you can see here, there are lots of options on the screen. So, what I would like you to do is, if you think one of these answers is correct, Write it in the comments box. So please tell me, um, why do some animals come out at night? So option one, we've got five options here, guys. Option one is because there are not so many predators at night. That's option one. Option two, because some prey come out at night. So maybe um, the prey comes out at night. So that is why the nocturnal animals also come out at night. Option number three, we have because it's more interesting to hunt at night. So maybe some animals, they think hunting at night is more interesting. If you do think that's an option, guys, um, write your comment and post it, please. Uh, option four or option D, uh, because it's too hot to come out in the day. Maybe some animals... They only come out at night because it's too hot. Tell me, if you think that's the answer, write it in the comment box. And because it's more quiet at night, maybe some animals, some predators only come out at night because it's nice and quiet. So, choose your options, guys. Okay, Kian Hang says two, because some prey come out at night. I think you might be right there. I choose A, says Trio Tweet. I think I said that wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, number two, because some prey come out at night. Yep, I think you might be right there. I choose A, because there are not so many predators at night. That also might might be true. Sorry, my teacher is late. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so guys, we have three new words here. So let's have a look. This word here is predators, okay? The noun predators. Because it's more interesting to hunt at night. Maybe, Nguyen, why do you think it's interesting for animals to hunt at night? Why do you think that? That's okay. Please answer the teacher as much as you can from now. Yes, please, answer me. A, we've got lots of uh, A's and lots of B's. So, guys, a predator. Here, we have the Vietnamese translation here. This is what a predator is. So, a predator is an animal that hunts other animals. It's a predator. And the prey is the animal that is being hunted. Okay? So, you have uh, one animal is the predator and the other animal is the prey. Predator is the one that is trying to chase and trying to kill and eat the prey. So, predator, we have a predator, and we have prey, that's prey, you can repeat after me guys, prey, 
All right, and we have this verb here, the verb to hunt, guys, hunt. So you could say that predators hunt their prey. Predators hunt their prey. They do. So hunt, the verb to hunt means to chase and to attack and to kill and then to eat their prey. I'm going to make myself a bit bigger here. How is that for you guys? That's all right. Bigger still? Maybe that's better, right? Is that better for you guys? You can see my face more. How is that? Number three. All right, let's find out. So, guys, if you said A, B, or C, you are right. You are right. So, guys, yeah, you're right. Because there are not so many predators at night. That's right. So, I guess during the day for the opossum or for other prey animals, um, there are too many predators at, at night. So, they like to sleep during the day and come out at night when the predators are asleep so there is not a lot of chance of them being attacked and eaten because they don't want that okay um answer b because some prey come out at night that is also true yeah so because the prey come out at night that means that some of the predators also come out at night right so the predators will always follow the prey. And option three, because it's more interesting to hunt at night. Yeah, it's more interesting to to hunt at night. Okay. Bao Ming says, because at night many animals go to sleep. So the predator can hunt easily. Yeah, that's right. Great job. Yeah, you're right there. Good job. Well done. All right, let's move on, guys. So look here, we have a box of sentences and what I would like you to do is fill in the blank, please. So complete the sentences. We've got four words here. We've got predator. You guys remember what a predator is. It's the animal that attacks, attacks the prey. We have nocturnal. You guys remember what nocturnal is? The animal that comes out at night. We have the word evening. Evening. Do you guys know what evening is, right? We have morning, afternoon, and evening. And then hides, which is the in the example sentence. Uh, hide means to hide, the verb to hide. I'm sure you know. All right, so the first sentence, guys, is the opossum hides and goes to sleep during the day. Okay, we have some answers coming in already. Great job. We have A, B, and C, but you have we're on a different slide now, so you have to fill in the sentences. Four. Ning Nguyen says four. Predator. A predator is an animal that wants to hunt and eat another animal. I think you might be right there. Good job. I don't understand. Okay, I will explain one more time. So, look, we have one, two, three words here. And we have three sentences that need, that need to be filled in. The blanks here, they need to be filled in. So take a word from here, guys, and place it in the correct sentence. Okay, all right, we've got some more answers here. Noc two, nocturnal. Let's see if it fits. The opossum and the armadillo are nocturnal animals. I think you might be right there. Good job, guys. Well done. Well done, Ian. Well done, Ming Huang. Number three, Ning Nguyen says, the rabbit usually comes out in the morning and in the evening. Yeah, I think you're right there. The rabbit usually comes out in the morning and in the evening. That's right. But remember that rabbits are not nocturnal animals, guys. Wow, a lot of you guys are getting them right. One nocturnal, good. Two, evening, yep, and three, predator, awesome, that's great, yeah, or well, four is predator, but it's the third answer down, four, predator, good, three, evening, awesome, well done, guys, yeah, you're all right, I don't think anybody is wrong here, awesome job, yeah, well done, guys, okay, let's move on.
So yeah, let's see. The opossums and the armadillo are nocturnal animals. Well done if you got that right. Uh, question number three, or sentence number three. The rabbit usually comes out in the morning and the evening. Yes, if you said evening, you are right there too. Well done. And sentence number four. A something is an animal that wants to hunt and eat another animal. Let's see. The answer is predator. Well done. Well done. If you, number four, you said predator. You're right there. Great job, guys. A predator is an animal that wants to hunt and eat another animal. Can you guys think of some predators or some prey? Can you, can you think? If you know, please write your answers in the comment box below. Let's move on. All right, your second task today, students, is I would like you to write true or false to these sentences. So, <clears throat> sentence number one is already filled in. It says the armadillo sleeps for less than six hours in the day. And that is false. Because how many, how many hours do they sleep for? Can you remember? How many hours does the armadillo sleep for? Who, who can remember how many hours? Okay, while I'm waiting for you guys, uh, I'll read out the sentences. So, sentence number two, the tiger only comes out at night. Is it true or false? The tiger only comes out at night. That means it does not come out during the day. 17, yeah, well done, well remembered. Good job, guys. Yeah, they sleep for 17 hours. 17. That's crazy, right? That is crazy. Okay, the tiger only comes out at night. Some of you are saying, Ming Hung says, two, true. Hmm, what, what do you guys think? Some people say true, some people say false. Two, false. We have a mixed bag here, guys. I think the answer... Mm, false? Yeah. A lot of you are saying false. Yeah, because a tiger doesn't only come out during the day, right? Maybe you have been to a zoo or a wildlife park. I'm sure you will have seen tigers uh, in the day. So I think true two may be false, but we'll see. Uh, sentence number three. The rabbit is a nocturnal animal. Is it true or false? The rabbit is a nocturnal animal. Who knows? <clears throat> Excuse me. Three. True. Some people saying true. Some people saying false. Number three, guys. Is the rabbit a nocturnal animal? Three. True. Hmm, let's see. False. Wow, we do have a mixed bag, guys. Okay, let's move on to question, uh, not question, sentence number four. Some animals are nocturnal because there are not so many predators at night. Is it true or is it false? Hi, teacher. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. Chip Chi, no problem. Welcome to the stream. We're learning about nocturnal animals today. Uh, some animals are nocturnal because there are not so many predators at night. What do you guys think? True or false? Four. True, someone said. False. Sorry, two is false. Yeah, I think two is false. True, false, true, says Ian. True, false, true. Let's see. So, guys, number two is false. Tigers only come out at night. That is false. False. They come out during the day. Um, some of the some of the tigers they hunt during the day. They are a predator, right? So they have to hunt their prey. Like some of their prey are um, meerkats, right? Do you know what a meerkat is? Those cute little animals. They hunt all kinds of animals, and a lot of them are uh, not nocturnal animals. So. No, guys, they are. They do not only come out at night. They come out during the day. Uh, number three, the rabbit is a nocturnal animal. That is also false. 
um, because sometimes you will see the rabbit in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, although uh, it, it does sometimes sleep when it comes to the evening and in the morning. But no, it is not a nocturnal animal. But don't worry if you got those answers wrong, guys. They're quite tricky answers because... Okay, guys, and sentence four. Some animals are nocturnal because there are not so many predators at night. Yeah, that's right, guys. So, th this one is true, actually. Some animals are nocturnal because there are not so many predators at night. So, if you are a prey animal... Um, it is more likely that you will be nocturnal um, because there is so much prey out. Uh, there is so many predators out during um, during the day that they it's best for them if they they are nocturnal and they sleep during the day and they come out at night. So some of you are right, some of you are wrong. Don't worry if you got the answers wrong. That's why we're here. We're learning. We're learning about animals. All right, let's move forward. Okay, so topic number two, special senses. Who knows what special senses are, huh? It's a bit of a vague term, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, guys, listen to me, please. Many animals that come out at night have special senses. This means they can see, hear, touch, smell, or taste very well. These sensors help them to find food and to stay safe in the dark. Do you know some animals that have some good sensors? If you know animals that have good sensors, guys, any of the sensors where they can see really well, or hear really well, or touch, or smell, or taste, write the animal in the comments box. Let's see. Let's see what you guys think. Do you know any animals with special senses? What do we have? Let's see. Very good. Who knows? So, yeah, senses, guys. We have to see. To see with our eyes. We have to hear. To hear with our ears. To touch with our hands and our feet to smell with our nose and to taste usually with our mouths mm. okay so a lot of you guys okay there's some more of you coming in now great uh, okay I'm gonna read this one more time for you guys because I think we've just had a few more people join the stream so um, special senses guys Many animals that come out at night have special senses. Now, special senses, um, that means that they can see, they can hear, they can touch, they can smell, or they can taste really well. So, for example, you might think that uh, animals that come out at night, they might have um, a special sight. They might be able to see really well because it's so dark right they have to have very good eyes so that they can see uh, so if you know any animals owl can see very well yeah you're right uh, great job Ta, that's an awesome answer bat can't see with their eyes yeah I think you're right there bats are blind aren't they I think you're right yeah they can't see so how do they how do bats how do bats fl know where to fly I think maybe we will learn a little bit more about that later on. We have a bat, yeah, but tell me, don't just write the, the animal, guys. Write the animal and the sense. Try and write a nice sentence in English. Bat can't see with its eye, yeah, and duck, you're right. Great job. So, guys, these are the five senses. To see, to hear, to touch, to smell, or to taste so here we have the Vietnamese translation for sense and here we have the Vietnamese translation for taste bat and owl but I don't think so but they can smell what animals can smell let's see okay so let's have a look at these animals guys uh, can you guess which special sense they have so look remember we've got the fox here on the left 
We've got the raccoon uh, in the middle, and we've got the Tarsia. That's Tarsia on the right. The Tarsia is an animal from the Philippines, I believe. But an owl can smell. Yep. So, guys, uh, what senses do these animals have? What are the special senses that they have? What do you think? Let me know in the comments box. Because I think maybe it's different for all of them. What do you think, guys? What special sense does the fox have? What special sense does the raccoon have? And what special sense does the Tarsia have? What do you think? Remember to write your answers in the comments box. Owl can smell. Mm, I think owls probably can smell, but maybe it's not their strongest special sense. Because remember that animal, uh, owls are nocturnal animals, right? That means that they have to see really well. Uh, all right, let's move on. Owls can smell. Owl, fox, raccoon, tarsier. I don't know this animal. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit more about that animal later. Don't worry. All right, let's move on, guys. So, the fox. Let's talk about the fox. Foxes have a big nose with an amazing sense of smell. That helps them to find food. So they find food. Foxes, they find food with their noses, guys. They have a very, very good sense of smell. So that sometimes when you see foxes or dogs and they are sniffing the ground, that's because they have very powerful noses. They have a, a very strong sense of smell. And it helps them to find the food so that they can eat. A fox can smell mice through up to 12 centimeters of snow. Wow. That's crazy, isn't it? So yeah, foxes guys, they can they can smell mice through up to 12 centimeters. That's about that's about that much, that much that much snow. So they can they they are able to smell mice. I think fox I think the fox have a good tactile. Yeah, they're very tactile animals. They are. They're very fragile and, and nimble also is a good adjective to to describe them. The fox. Uh, foxes also have very big ears. Huge ears that can move so they can hear very well. So the foxes have two special uh, senses, guys. One of them is their sense of smell so that they can smell for their prey, the mice. They remember that the the fox is the predator here and the mouse is the prey. So the fox hunts the prey. The predator hunts the prey. Um, and the second special sense is their big ears. Can you see their ears here, guys? They have big ears so that they can also hear things very well. Because if they are hunting in the snow, they need to be able to hear underneath the snow. Okay, uh, the raccoon. Let's look at the raccoon. Now, guys, I actually have a short video I'd like to show you guys about the raccoon. So I'm just going to play that for you guys. And you can let me know what you think, okay? Now, it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 160, the amazing raccoon. This rascally little mammal is extremely adaptable. Raccoons are very good They're at so living cute, aren't us, they? but they also live wild throughout North and Central America. Yeah, you find them a lot in, in America. Cat, but they to like bears. to go through the, the trash. Uh, can you see them? <laughs> Baby raccoons don't leave the den for the first The babies are called kids. Uh, they are Eight born blind later, and deaf. Raccoons are incredibly agile. I've got this. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you think they're cute? Most or, of the time, they have or are they a little bit that have highly sensitive touch little bit yucky? What yes, do you think? We got a good handle I think they're things. quite cute. 
The fox is very cunning. Yeah, great adjective. The fox is very cunning. They're sneaky, aren't they? You should read the... There's a book called Fantastic Mr. Fox. If you want to improve your English, you should read that book. It's about a, a fox that likes to trick three different farmers and go and steal food from them. It's a fantastic book by Roald Dahl. Fantastic Mr. Fox. They need the food to build up body fat to make it through the winter. It's cute, but also dirty. Yeah, they are dirty animals, raccoons, aren't they? They like to go through the trash because it's easy. So the humans, they throw out the trash and then the raccoons come and they, they take the food because it's so easy for them. Because I guess they're lazy. They don't want to hunt. They would just rather get a, a free meal, right? All right, guys. So that's the end of that video. So let's learn a little bit more about raccoons then, shall we? So raccoons have long fingers and a very good sense of touch. When they are hunting for food in water, they use their fingers to find fish and frogs. Okay, so the raccoon's special sense, guys, is their sense of touch. They use their fingers when they are hunting. So here the raccoon is the predator, right? And the fish and the frog, they are the prey. So, because the raccoon has such long fingers, it can push through the water. And it can find the fish and the frogs and it can hold them. The, raca the raccoon is cute, but they are dirty. Yeah, they're dirty. Cute, but so dirty. Yeah, everybody thinks the same, I think. Yes, I will wash it. You wash the raccoon? I like raccoons. I like them because I think they're kind of intelligent. Uh, and guys, I did a I did an online stream last week about intelligent animals. So if you do want to learn a little bit more about intelligent animals, you can go back and watch that stream this time last week. All right, so let's move on. And here, just before we do move on, I'm sorry, we have the Vietnamese translation for raccoon just here. I won't try and say it. Okay, let's move on. Ah, now this animal, this is called a Tarsia, guys. So repeat after me, that's Tarsia. Tarsia. Now, a Tarsia's eye is bigger than its brain. Wow, isn't that amazing, guys? So the Tarsia's eye is bigger than its brain. It has a good sense of sight okay it can see very well in the dark hmm so is the tarsier a nocturnal animal guys what do you think i don't like it they look kind of strange don't they they have these huge eyes and a strange nose i think they're very small as well uh, so, guys, one more time. The Tarsier's eye is bigger than its brain. Maybe that means it's a unintelligent animal. What do you think? It has a good sense of sight. It can see very well in the dark. Yeah, so you find these Tarsiers, you find them in Indonesia and, and the Philippines. So, they're, they're, what is their sense of sight, guys? Write it in the comment box. Is it smell? Is it touch? What is their what is their their sense? Their special sense? Not now and here, please. <laughs> Tarsia is not cute. Okay. All right. Let's let's move on, guys. So I have a, another puzzle here for you guys. And what I would like you to do is complete the puzzle. So this puzzle is actually called a crossword. Maybe you've maybe you've seen this puzzle before, guys. And what uh, how you complete it is there are five different clues here. So you have to read the sentence clue and you have to write the answer. Guess the word and write the answer. So number one, a nocturnal animal with very big eyes. That's a Tarsier, right? The animal that we just learnt about. Tarsier is very cute, says Ning Yuen. Yeah, I agree. They are cute. I would like to have a pet. 
a pet Tarsia. <laughs> I think it's cool, me too. Bat. Two fox. Is it bat or fox, guys? What's the clue? A nocturnal animal that has an amazing sense of smell. And a very good sense of hearing. Ah. The owl or the bat? Uh, the owl or the fox? What do you think? It's a, It's not I. Because a nocturnal... It's a nocturnal animal, right? A nocturnal animal that has an amazing sense of smell. One. And a very good sense of hearing. Two. Two. Fox. Fox. Yeah, I think you might be right there, guys. It might be fox. All right. Number three. The clue is... A nocturnal animal that sometimes hunts for food in water. Number three. So, if this is fox, guys, that means that this is an O, right? So, number three. What do we think r number three is? It's a nocturnal animal that sometimes hunts for food in water. Number three. What do we think? Anybody have any guesses for number three? Not Tarsia, not Fox, not Mice. Raccoon, says Fung. Yeah, I think you're right. Well done, Ang Lucky. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's Raccoon, right? R. Yeah, I'm sure it's Raccoon. R A C double O N. So we have Fox, Raccoon. All right, number four. The clue is foxes like to eat them. What do we think? Mice? Yeah, I think you might be right there. M-I-C-E, mice, right? And number five, animals that raccoons like to eat. What are the animals that raccoons like to eat? Any guesses, guys? There were two animals, right? Fish and, yeah, fish, you're right, but fish doesn't fit in this box here, does it? Four fish, mm. Foxes like to eat fish? Mm, I don't think so. Mice? Who knows this last one? Frog. Or maybe frogs, right? Five frogs. Yeah, a lot of you guys are saying frogs now. Animals. Um, Huang Fung. It's not animals because it. Look, the clue says animals that raccoons like to eat. So whatever the answer is, it needs to be. Uh, it needs to be an animal. So not trash. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, fox is the answer, raccoon, number four is mice, and number five are frogs. Alright, great job, let's move on. Okay guys, this says match, then write, complete sentences. So, here's the example. The example says, raccoons have long fingers and a good sense of touch. Okay, so... This is your model sentence. This is your animal. They have, right? Because it's plural. You can say a raccoon has, but raccoons have. Raccoons have. And then you choose the sense. Long fingers, big nose, big eyes, big ears. And a good sense of. And then you choose, uh, you choose the special sense here. So you choose the animal, the body part. And then the special sense. So, what I would like you to do, guys, is write some sentences where you use all of the structure here. And I'm going to read some of your answers out. I'm sure a lot of you can get them right. Raccoon, long fingers, touch. Now, I think you're right there, but you need to add a few words to make the sentence flow a little bit better. So... For example, the, the answer here says raccoons have, this is your linking word, raccoons have long fingers and a good sense of touch. Chip Chi says foxes have big noses and a, and a good sense of smell. I think that should be good sense of smell. Foxes have big ears and a good sense of smell. That's more like it, I think. Well done, Dotoa. Foxes have big ears. They do. They have big ears, right? And a good sense of smell. Why do they need the good sense of smell? So that they can smell the mice that are buried beneath them. Okay. Sang Chuang says, Tarsia's big eyes sight. Yeah, I think you're right there. But remember, guys, you need to use the words have and a 
good sense of. You need to write the full sentence out. Foxes have big ears and and a good hearing. A good sense of hearing, you can say. But good, yeah. Foxes have big ears and good hearing. They have two two special senses, right? Tarsiers have big eyes and a and a and a good sense of sight. Yeah, good job, well done. So Tarsiers have big eyes and a good sense of sight. That's right. How about okay? So we've done foxes and Tarsiers. How about oh, and we've done oh, there's two foxes here, right? So how about the animal? Uh, what was the other animal, guys? Do you remember? I know there's two foxes. I know you're right. So we have the raccoon, the fox, the tarsier. Okay, let's move on. So we have two different sentences for for uh, foxes here, don't we? Foxes have big noses, noses, and a good sense of smell. And foxes have big ears and a good sense of hearing. Both of those sentences are correct. Foxes have big eyes and a good smell, a good sense of. Remember, this is your this is your model sentence, guys. You need to you need to use this sentence and just replace the animals, and the body part and the and the sense. All right, but that's okay. We're going to move on. Okay, so our third uh, topic that we're talking about today is flying at night. So, guys, if you know any animals that fly at night, any nocturnal animals that fly at night, write them in the comments box. Let's see how many you know. Who knows? Who knows any animals that fly at night? What time does the video end? Uh, I think we will probably tidy up around 9pm, maybe 9, 9.15, something like that. Eagle. Do eagles fly at night? Eagles are very big, I'm not sure, maybe. It's an owl, yeah, owls do fly at night. Bats fly at night, well done, Ning Nguyen, awesome. Birds, yeah, lots of birds do fly at night. Owl and the bat, yeah, lots of people saying owl. Hello, Long 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 Duong, Long Zhuang. I hope I said that right. All right, let's have a look, guys. Flying at night, owl. So, guys, in the day, owls stay in trees or buildings. They stay in trees or buildings during the day, but at night they hunt for food. Owls can see, that's your sense, guys. Owls can see very well in the dark, and they also have an amazing sense of hearing. So, owls have two special senses, don't they? They have amazing eyesight, they can see really well, and they have an amazing sense of hearing, they can hear really well. And they are nocturnal animals, right, guys? Because in the day, owls stay in trees or buildings, don't they? I wonder which buildings they hide in. Yeah. Do you guys have owls? Do you guys have owls in Vietnam? Many owls have soft feathers on their wings. They can fly very quietly. Their prey don't know that they are coming. So yeah, guys, owls, they are very silent predators. And because they have feathers, it means that when they fly, they are able to fly so very quietly. And the reason for that is th uh, their prey can't hear that they are coming because a lot of the prey um, have... Uh, have hearing as their special sense so the owl has to adapt and um, that is why the owl flies very very quietly so that it can sneak up behind can you see this picture here 
the owls, they fly so very, very quietly, and, and that way they are able to surprise the prey. I'm going to read that one more time for you guys, okay? Uh, many owls. This is called a barn owl, by the way, guys. It's a very beautiful animal. You can find them in my home country, actually, in England. They're very, very, they're very rare and very beautiful animals. A barn owl. So many owls have soft feathers on their wings, so they can fly very quietly. That's why they have soft feathers, guys. What the prey under the white owl? Um, good question. I would. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's a little bit out of focus, isn't it? I would guess maybe that this is some kind of worm, but I'm not sure what this uh, this black thing is. Who knows? But they eat lots of different things. They eat mice, don't they, owls? They eat mice and, and insects and and things. So guys, the main learning, the main takeaway point here is that the wings, um, their, their wings are made of very, very soft feathers. And because they have soft feathers, it means that they can fly very quietly. They listen for little noises from their prey. Rabbits, mice, and some other small animals then fly down and catch them in their sharp claws. And we have the Vietnamese translation for claws here. Or for claw. So they're able to sneak up. They eat mice, yeah, they do, Ning Yuen. They do. Awesome job, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, they imagine if you are a, mice, a mouse, you would be so scared, right? Because you would not be able to hear anything. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, a big owl comes and picks you up and takes you away. Yeah. Okay. Flying at night. Ah, so now we have the bat. What do you guys think about bats? Do you like bats? Owls usually sleep at day and wake at night. You're right, Huang Lei. That's right. That means that they are nocturnal animals. Because nocturnal animals, they sleep during the day and they are active during the night. So guys, most types of bat are nocturnal. So not all, but most. In the day, they hang upside down. They hang. They, they hang. So you can hang a coat. A hang means you put something on something else and, and it stays there. You hang a coat or you hang a hat. So in the day, they hang upside down and stay in caves, trees and buildings. I like teacher. Oh, thanks, Trung. I like you too. Um, so yeah, guys, these bats, they, they hang upside down and they stay there. They're kind of like, you know, like um, vampires. Vamp bats turn into vampires, right, in, in the stories. So that's why sometimes a vampire will go to sleep upside down. They will hang. That's because that's what the bats do. Yeah, I just know a little bit of Vietnamese, guys. Just a little bit of Vietnamese. Uh, so guys, most types of bat are nocturnal animals. In the day, they hang, that's hang, upside down and stay in caves, trees and buildings. That's where they stay, in caves. Maybe you guys have been to a bat cave before. Where like thousands of these bats will just be above and they'll be all hanging. I've been to one of those caves. Vampires like blood. You're right there. Uh, okay, and we have the Vietnamese translation right here for you guys. Let's move on. Flying at night. So, bats are really interesting animals, guys, because at night, um, bats look for fruit and flowers. Or they hunt for insects. Ooh, coffee, thank you. Um... Fish, so let me say that again. So at night, bats look for fruit and flowers, or they hunt for insects. That's insects. Insects is a hard word to say because it's insects. The sound is kts, kts, insects. Um, 
So, bats are predators, guys, and their prey is often insects, fish, and mice. Okay, so they eat those things, but they also eat fruit and flowers. So the insects that they eat, they eat a lot of um, moths. I think moths make up the majority of their diet. This is a moth here. A moth is like a a brown butterfly that, that is also a, a nocturnal animal, I, I believe. Bat is the predator and the insect is the prey. That's right, Han Yuin. Great job. Well done. So guys, I'm going to repeat these words one more time. We've got, repeat after me please, we've got insects. 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 We've got insects, fish, and mice. So their special senses are that they can see and smell very well. But guys, I don't think that they can see through their eyes. So maybe let's find out a little bit more about that. Bats make special noises when they fly. Bats make special noises when they fly. The noises bounce off. That's bounce off. Repeat after me. Bounce off. The noises bounce off things and come back as echoes. That's echoes. Not, not echoes. Echoes. These echoes tell bats where they are. These, these echoes tell bats where things are and how big they are, I think that's supposed to be. Let's have a look at some of your comments, guys. I don't like bats cause, because corona, <laughs> of coronavirus, yeah, I don't blame you. Insects, yeah, good job, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna edit this PowerPoint. But we're gonna have to find the slide. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to reading view. Okay. So there's not supposed to be a, a line in that presentation, guys. Um, so these echoes tell... So yeah, guys, sorry, I got distracted then. So echoes, guys, um, the echoes are the, th are the noises that bounce off the wall. So what happens is a bat will fly, and because its, uh, its eyesight is not very good, it will send out these echoes, these noises and the echoes will bounce off the wall and they will come back to the bat and um, they, will, they will use the echo location to know whereabouts the wall is, whereabouts the trees are, whereabouts the floor is and they are able to kind of map out where everything is and create like a 3D world and because they are able to bounce all of these um, sounds that means that if a moth or if some kind of prey like a mouse or something is is scurrying across the floor or flying through the sky, the bat can send out an echo location and it can see whereabouts the moth is and then it can go and chase it. So here we have, uh, I'm sorry I joined late, that's okay, no need to be sorry, welcome. Welcome, welcome, we're learning about nocturnal animals. Uh, okay, so guys, we have bounce off. You can bounce something. You know the verb bounce, right? Well, you can bounce off something. So if I throw a ball at a wall, it will bounce off the wall and back into my hand. The same way that uh, a bat can send echoes off and they will come back to the bounce off. Okay. I hope you got that, guys. I've got the Vietnamese translation below. Guys, if I'm doing a bad job at explaining, just let me know in the comments. I won't be offended, and I will try and explain again. And if I'm going too fast or too slow, uh, please tell me. Okay, let's move on. 
Uh, this special sense of bats is called echolocation. That's echolocation. So that's the ability that they have to bounce echoes off, off of walls. Echolocation. Echolocation. Um, this special sense of bats is called echolocation. Thanks to this, bats can find food in the dark. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Here we have the Vietnamese translation for echolocation, and here we have the noun uh, mammals. Yeah. Please join us at 7.30 next week. That's right. I'm here every 7.30. Okay, so guys, we have echolocation. And we have mammals. We are mammals as people. So mammals, guys, I believe, are animals that um, do not lay eggs. All right, let's move on. Complete the chart. So here, look, we have food. And we've got two different animals here. We've got owls and bats. And here are our rows. We've got where they stay in the day, their special sensors, and other amazing facts. So if you can fill out this table, guys, let me know. Let me know about the owls. We know what their food is. How about the bats, guys? What, what do bats eat? Can you remember? Can you remember what bats eat? I think that maybe they eat ma uh, mice, and what else do they eat? Bats eat insects, yeah, great job, insects, and do you remember what else they eat? Not mice. Yeah, write down your answers, guys. So not just about the food, but... Um, where they stay in the day. So where do they stay? If they are hunting and if they are active at night, where do they stay during the day? Where do the owls and the bats stay? What are their special senses? And what are the amazing facts about them? Please, please try to write in full sentences, guys. If you can, that would be great. Fruit. Yeah, that's right. Bats eat fruit. They eat fruit, insects, bats eat insects, good sentence, new and good job. <clears throat> yeah, they eat fruit, they eat insects, insects, fish, I'm not sure they eat fish. But they eat flowers, remember guys, flowers, they eat some flowers, they eat some berries, they eat insects. And how about where these animals stay? Where do where do these nocturnal animals stay during the day? They hang in the building. Yeah, they hang in buildings. Where else do they hang? That's the bats, right? Remember to answer in full sentence. So tell me what animal. Uh, and so, for example, for for owls, you can say owls stay uh, in trees and buildings during the day. Ah, there we go. I will stay in the trees during the day. That's right. Trees and buildings, right? And some people, so, Tran Yin is saying cave. Yeah. Full sentence though, please, next time. Bats hang in the cave. Great job. Yeah, they do. Bats do hang in the cave. And what about their special senses, guys? What are the animal's special senses? Do you know? Owls hang in the tree. Yeah, they do. Good job. Well done. All right. So, yeah, let's fill in. Let's fill this in, guys. So, bats eat fruit, flowers, insects, fish, and mice. You were right about the fish then. They do eat fish. I got that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. They do. They eat fish, they eat insects, and they eat mice. Uh, where do they stay? 
during the day. So owls stay in trees and buildings. Owls stay in trees and buildings. Yeah. The bat hung upside down on cave trees and structures. Yeah, they do. They hang. They hang upside down. Uh, yep. Yeah, so look, bats... In the day, they stay in caves, trees, and buildings. Let's have a look at the special senses. <coughs> Excuse me. Owls, uh, their special senses are they have a good sense of sight and a good sense of hearing. So they have great sight, so they're able to see very, very far. They're able to see the mice very far away. And they're able to hear very well um, so that the they can spot if they can hear a, a very very quiet animal noise yeah so the bat's special sense is echolocation and echolocation guys just to remind you is the sense where they bounce uh, waves off the wall and the the waves bounce off the walls and off the trees and off the floor and they come back to the bat and they're able to kind of see where everything is. It's very clever. Uh, bats are the only mammal that can fly. That's the amazing fact. Bats are the only mammal that can fly. So remember that. Maybe it'll be in a pub quiz one day. Oh, and who can remember another amazing fact about owls? Who remembers an amazing fact about the owls? That special location is echo location? Yeah. You're right. Good job. Alright, let's move on, guys. So I want you to answer some more questions here. So look, um, number one, what do owls listen for when they are hunting? What do owls listen for when they are hunting? Uh, they listen for little noises from their prey. So the owls, they are listening for noises from their prey. Uh, guys, how about question two? How do they catch their prey? That's the owls, guys. How do the owls catch their prey? Can you answer in four sentences, please? Try to speak in English, guys. I, it will help you. So how do they how do the animals catch their prey? Remember, they 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 use their their wings, their their feathers that make their wings so light and quiet, and they swoop in and they they grab. Uh, number three, why can owls fly very quietly? Why can they fly so quietly? Who knows? Okay, let's have a look at the answers. How do they catch their prey? They fly down and catch them in their sharp claws. Right, so they use their sharp claws. Why can owls fly very quietly? Anybody know? Lots of Vietnamese going on in the chat, guys, but not a lot of English. Um, so I think question three has something to do with their feathers, right? Let's see. Because they have soft feathers on their wings. Yeah, guys, so the feathers on their wings, they're so soft. It means that when they fly, they do it really quietly. Uh, sentence four. What special sense helps bats to find food? The feather is very quiet. Yeah, the feather makes them very quiet. That's right. Good job. Uh, so what is the special sense... That helps bats to find food. They have light feathers, yeah. Let's see the answer. The answer is echolocation, guys. Echolocation is the special sense that help them catch their prey. Good job if you said, yeah, well done. Kuei Trang, awesome job. Well done. 
And what do echoes tell bats? What do echoes tell bats? Who knows? What do the echoes signal to the bats? They tell them something, right? What do they tell the bats? Let's see. Um, the echoes tell the bats where things are and how big they are. So if they're flying in a forest, they can see if there's a moth or another insect. How big are they? And whereabouts they are. Okay, and topic number four for today, guys, is desert animals. Okay, so in many deserts, why do many animals only come out at night? So... We're going to talk about nocturnal animals in the desert. If you know a nocturnal animal that lives in the desert, guys, please write your comments below. You can see the first one right here. Okay, so our first desert animal, guys, is the fennec fox. That's fennec fox. And the fennec fox lives in the Sahara Desert. That's the, the very big desert in, in Africa. It stays in a burrow in the sand in the day and at night it hunts for mice, lizards and insects. I'll read that one more time for you guys. The fennec fox lives in the Sahara Desert in Africa. It stays in burrow. It stays in a burrow. That's a burrow. A burrow, guys, is like a a small hole under the ground. A small hole under the ground. That's what a burrow is. So the fennec fox lives in a burrow. Um, it stays in a burrow in the sand in the day. And at night, it hunts for mice, lizards, and insects. So yeah, do you know what do you guys know what a lizard is? Do you guys know what a lizard is? There are many different kinds of lizard, right? You have like a chameleon and a Komodo dragon. Lots of different lizards, big and small. And the fox eats all of them, I guess, in the Sahara Desert. Let's move on, guys. So, just to repeat those words, we have burrow, that's burrow, the noun, that's where the, that's where the fox lives, and the lizard is what the fox hunts, remember hunt is, um, the verb to hunt is the predator hunts the prey. Let's move on. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. Oh, look, it's so cute. Look how cute it is. But it has very big ears. Can you see their big ears? So it can easily hear its prey in the dark. So it's the same as the fox that we learnt about before, right? It also has very big ears. And that's so that it can hear, it can listen for the prey. So maybe some of the insects or some of the lizards are making small noises. That's, that's why they have big ears. Okay, and let's have a look about the kangaroo rat. Okay, so guys, the kangaroo rat lives in a desert in North America. The kangaroo rats live in deserts in North America. At night, they jump around and find seeds. Do you guys know what seeds are? Camels? Why is everyone saying camels? <laughs> uh, we're going to need to make another adjustment here, aren't we, on the presentation? Let's have a look. Where are we here, right? Let's just move that. There we go, we're back. That was much quicker, wasn't it? Okay, so kangaroo rats live in deserts in North America. At night, they jump around and find seeds. They keep seeds in their mouth and then they put them in their burrow. Remember what a burrow is, guys. 
Kangaroo rats get water from the seeds they eat. So seeds, who knows what seeds are? We have the Vietnamese translation down here, and also for burrow. So guys, you know like sunflower seeds? Seeds are the very small uh, part of the part of the uh, plant that we can plant and we can eat them, can't we? So we have sunflower seeds, lots of different kinds of seeds. And these kangaroo rats, they eat seeds. All right, let's move on to a much cooler animal, guys, which is the desert scorpion. Awesome. So at night, desert scorpions come out to feed on mini beasts. That's mini beasts. Repeat after me. Mini beasts. Although they can't see very well, they have special hairs on their legs so they can feel when the prey is near. So, uh, scorpions cannot see very well. They cannot see very well. So, they have to adapt, right? So, they have little, little hairs on their legs. And so, that's... Be uh, and the reason they have these small hairs is that when prey is running near them, they can feel... They can feel whereabouts the prey is. So dangerous? Yeah, they are so dangerous, right? Yeah, they have this big sting on them here. And big claws. They are scary. Uh, they kill their prey with a sting from their tail. So, guys, this is a sting here. Uh, so, mini beasts, guys, are um, small animals that you can find. They're like small beasts. And uh, uh, small beasts... They have poison. Yeah, they do. They have a lot of poison. You have to be very careful if you see a, uh, a scorpion, right? So what, what they do is they use their claws here and they will, they will pin down the animal with their claws and then they will use their stinger and they will, they will sting. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, so yeah, so when so when the their prey is near them, there are hairs on their legs, and the the little insects like the little centipedes or whatever the mini beasts are, um, they will brush against the legs and brush against the hairs, and then the the scorpion will know where the mini beasts are. And sting, guys. This is a sting here. So you can have like a sting from a wasp or from a bee. It's like a very small, sharp part of the body. And it delivers like a very painful sting if you get too close. Okay, so now, we, now we're going to talk about this bird here. Do you know what this bird is here? It's called a flamingo. A flamingo. So... Let's watch a video about the flamingos. Flamingos are like these big, beautiful pink birds. But are they nocturnal animals? What do you think? Do flamingo. Doffy? Yeah, flamingo. Why are people saying do flamingo? Is that the name in Vietnamese? So yeah, these... Wow, they're very beautiful, aren't they? Amazing color. Yeah, guys, these birds are flamingos. Okay. 
So let's find out some more about these animals. So what I would like you to do, please, is complete the sentences. So, you must look at the words here and then fill in the blank. So number one. <coughs> Excuse me, the stuff in a coughing fit here. Uh, so yeah, number one, it eats. What does it eat? So if you can fill in the blanks, guys, and then post your comments below, that would be really great. So it has special what on its leg? What animal? So the kangaroo rat. The kangaroo rat, it gets something from seeds. Okay, let's have a look at number two, guys. Number one is water. It eats water. No, number one, seeds. Yeah, that's right. Good job. How about number two, guys? It has special something on its legs. What's the animal first for number two? Who knows the answer for number two? What animal is it? Number two, guys, I think is the scorpion. The scorpion. It has special what? What does the scorpion have on its legs? What are the small things that scorpion has on its legs? Anybody know? Number three, it's the blank fox in the world. So we've got C, seeds, ears. It's the smallest, I think is the answer. Please try to write your sentences in the comments box, guys. It's the smallest fox in the world. Yeah, the smallest fox in the world. And number two, it has special hairs on its legs. Number three, it has very big ears, I think that is. And what animal is that going to be? I think that's probably the fennec fox, right? Number five, it gets something from seeds. And number six, it can't see well. What animal can't see well? Let's have a look. So it eats seeds. Yeah, the kangaroo rat eats seeds. Number two. It has special hairs on its legs. Yeah, do you remember? It has very small hairs on its legs so that it can tell if an animal is close. Uh, number three, it's the smallest fox in the world number four it has very big ears number five it gets water from the seeds yeah it gets water from the seeds and number C it can't see well the animal is the scorpion yeah so okay guys I think that we're gonna call it a night with this uh, stream. So I hope I hope that you learnt something new today about nocturnal animals and which animals are nocturnal, which animals are not nocturnal. The main takeaway here, guys, is just to remember that nocturnal means that animals only come out during the night time. They do not come out in the daytime. And the nocturnal animals are like the raccoon, the bat, can you remember any more? I'm sure you can. Okay, guys. So, it was uh, lovely teaching you again. I will see you uh, this time next week.